all right guys this is my first video as you can see i have a new studio um still having a few little bugs as you can see right here i can't quite get the whole green screen thing working out just the way i want it but we're gonna get there anyways um so i'm gonna try this new video uh it's gonna be a really short one it's not really gonna be so much a video this is just to see that everything works um, I'm gonna do it on the lava tube. Now I've already done a video on the lava tube. Um, it's gonna be coming down because apparently not everybody can hear it and it just ticks me off. Anyway, so the lava tube. It is a variable voltage uh, device. It is an 18650 battery. I'm gonna take it off, take the end of the cap off. It's just a battery that slides in the, the bottom. I just got a generic uh, 18650 in there. So the battery goes in the bottom and then once you plug it in you then have to reset. I've got it set, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, and I'm not. It, it sets, goes all the way from 3 to 6 volts. Uh, it's, it's a hundred dollar device, you can get it, god I'm not even going to try to tell you where you can get it because you can get it just about anywhere. Um, most places have it, it'll be a lava tube, it'll be a night rider, it'll be a K rider, it'll be... Um, an ego variable voltage. There's a thousand different names for it. I'll just slide back a bit. Um, so it's a, it's just a, it's a variable voltage device. It goes up and down. Um, the readout isn't 100% on. If it says, you know, it's 3.2, it or th let's say it says uh, it's five volt, it might be off by uh, by a point one or two volt. Um, it's not a big difference. It doesn't make a huge difference. Um, I am running a Stardust on this. It's a three uh, It's a three ohm Stardust tank. I was done with tanks. Um, I'm not anymore. I will review that. That's j it just it blows me away. So as you can see, whew, as you really can see, it blows a lot of uh, vapor out. Um, so the beauties of the the device this is a comparable. Realistically, it's comparable to a lava uh, to a. It is a lava tube. <laughs> um, I did buy this. This is not given to me for review. This is you know. There's no special wonky dude deals. Um, this is my personal device that I you know. It's mine. Um, it, it should realistically be be matched up against probably a Provari, um, which is a 250 plus 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 plus. You get all the different attachments. You're looking 300 dollars. This sells depending on where you go, whether you're in the states, whether you're in Canada, whether you're going to a high end, whether you're going to somebody who's got you know the knockoff version of which I can't tell you the difference honestly. Um, it ranges anywhere from I've seen as low as uh, if you're buying in a bulk deal. I've seen a bulk deal going on for 35, 45 bucks, I think it was, all the way up to I've seen them selling for 100 bucks. It, it really ranges. Um, but realistically, when you're looking at variable voltage for form factor, for not having to worry about it falling apart and breaking easily, catch me right there, um, you're not going to get, you're not going to beat this. Uh, I have two devices that I use every day my Darwin and my Lava Tube. Um, the Darwin doesn't generally leave the house simply because when you've got a three hundred dollar device and, and a you know less than a hundred dollar device that that does as well, you know there's there's you know minor hiccups, but uh, you're not going to take the three hundred dollar device if you don't have to. Um, we're four minutes in, so uh, the other thing is is uh, as you know I've got the new studio, I've got everything all laid out, it's all pretty. Um, I also have new sound system and my dual monitors with the new computer and yada yada yada. Um, so I'm still learning. I'm off on a tangent already. <laughs> um, but I'm also using Wirecast, which is the point of that whole kind of throw off. So this is a new program for me. Uh, really great program. But anyways, um, the only I've had this now for two months, and the only failing flaw fallback that I've ever come across is at one point in time and it's it's happened to a number of people right up here uh, it seems to just there's a little bit of a separation and, and the way I fixed it being a dumb arse I took off my Addy and I went oh it's not fitting right 
bang <laughs> it, it fits and then I went for the next probably a day or two I'd have to keep going tap 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 okay and then for some reason it just stopped so yeah don't smash your your PV around it's not a good idea <laughs> I are a dumbass so here's the uh, here's the portions to it you have your readout right there now you're not gonna see it when you're pushing the button and you can hear that um, you're only gonna see it when you play with the 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 dials um, you've got the the red on off switch you hold that for five seconds um, it'll turn it on and off if you want to know how much battery you have remaining click that seven times in a row and it will tell you like for me two three four five six seven I have 3.7 volts remaining out of a 4.2 you know fully charged battery uh, which means that I'm gonna have to recharge this because I think this is my last battery um, having moved the studio out of my bedroom and into my basement um, I've kind of misplaced my charger so uh, this is my last battery for this one um, if you set your voltage and you're happy with your voltage um, all you have to do is hold the two plus the plus and minus button and they're fairly clearly indicated um, I mean, you can't see it um, this one is the negative and that one there that I'm barely covering that's the pu that's the plus so it goes up and down by 0.1 volts up between three to uh, six um, it has a nice deep drip well um, and I mean I have dripped to the nth degree um, just a second here take off the stardust and as you can see it's a deep nice deep drip well and it, it's got the styling I mean it's not hard to tell this is supposed to be the the uh, the the poor man's version of the Provari it's got the little dimpling around the edge you know you can see that fairly evidently I wonder if it went like this Ooh, look at that it actually does have a little bit of it make it a little bit of a difference so there you go I think I need to clean my uh, screen there because it's a uh, look looks cloudy to me anyways um, now I have the stardust on here um, if you're if you have a lava tube you're probably going to sit there going that's an ego bat uh, that only fits on an ego battery I have got an ego extension on this um, the extension works fine you know um, it's a solid connection and here's the thing I mean I've had I've had a number I've got 12 devices uh, I've made four or five of them myself every now and then you come across a, a, a battery connection um, the 510 battery connection that just doesn't thread right um, no problem with that on this um, it's nice solid threading I don't feel any, I never catch myself it doesn't strip it doesn't bounce it doesn't wiggle I'm really happy with it um, so yeah uh, the battery is if you buy the kit you're usually gonna get it in general generally you'll get it into a clap case like you know, a little leatherette uh, clap case with the device two batteries a charger which is on the uh, which comes with it and then you also have two atomizers in there and depending on who you go to you're gonna either get you know either two atomizers a bunch of cardos a couple atomizers and a drip tip you might just get the two by itself you know it, it really does depend um, I'm again I'm not gonna tell you tell you where you can or can't go for it uh, simply because it's just the list is too extensive and I don't want to insult any one of the other uh, people here um, so there you go. That is the lava tube. It is a great device. Uh, it is my go-to when I'm out and about. This is my go-to when I'm home. I generally use this um, with my iOS 6 Addy. I have a ton of videos I need to do. If this works out well, um, yeah, I should be able to get a bunch of them going in the next couple of weeks. Um, my little girl turns six on Friday, so um, the weekend's gonna be out, but. Once I get things back in order, um, I'm hoping to pump these out at least one, at least one a week. Um, keep you guys coming back for more. Keep you guys guessing for more. But I have, um, for my Canadian viewers, um, I have a ton of uh, uh, Flavor Crafters juices. I think I have like 20 juices I have to, to review. I've got these two devices. Um, I have the Stardust. I have the IO6. I have some Kanger H coils. I have an X XL Kanger H coil. I have some smoke tech uh, cardos. I have a couple of tanks that I need to review. I have I have not done a video, with the exception of the two that I did a couple weeks ago for these two devices, and nobody like uh, nobody liked the sound on them. Um, I have not done any videos, so there's a huge backup, and that's not even looking at stuff that's from 
beyond like beyond before Christmas. Anyways, I'm rambling because hey, I'm really good at that. So this is me, Jay the Vaping Guy, signing off.